Matrix metalloproteases, also known as matrix metalloproteinases or matrixins, are calcium dependent zinc containing endopeptidases. So these belong to a larger family of proteases, and this larger family is known as the metzinkin superfamily. Now, the mesenchyme superfamily collectively is capable of degradation of extracellular matrix. So, interestingly enough, um, they were actually described during tadpole tail metamorphosis. Um, so, they were found in vertebrates, but since then, we've also found them in invertebrates and plants. Um, MMPs are a little bit different than regular um, endopeptidases because they depend on metal ions as cofactors. This gives them the ability to degrade that extracellular matrix and also um, they have a specific DNA sequence. Now, these um, MMPs, they are multi-domain proteins. So they have um, three main domain regions. This is, uh, they're classified as the propeptide, the catalytic domain, and the C-like terminal domain. The propeptide domain has around 80 amino acids, the catalytic has around 170, and the C-like terminal has an estimated 200 amino acids. There are some exceptions to this. Not all MMPs have the exact same structure. Um, MMP 7, 26, and 23 kind of differ from this main three domain structure. There are a lot of different functions listed for MMPs. Some of these include um, cleavage of cell service receptors, help with cell proliferation, migration, cell differentiation, angiogenesis, apoptosis, and host defense. Some other um, things that they've been attributed with is wound healing, tissue repair, um, progression of diseases such as arthritis, cancer, and chronic tissue ulcers. There are around 23 MMPs in humans, and um, the expression is controlled by inflammatory cytokines, um, growth factors, hormones, um, even like cell-to-cell -cell and cell-to-matrix interaction.